those present to witness that I, David Kaufman, take Tilly Shalkland to be my lawful wedded wife. I call those present. I call them
is if everybody could take a flower or anything that they care about or have into the papa. On a donut scale? Hold it higher than that, you know? Put your whole little waist high. Oh, yeah. Your yeah, we will in a minute. Okay. Guess who looks like being here? Looking in the camera? Yeah. yeah. I'll hold it. You stay there. Kind of monstro flower. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Oh, hang on, oh. yeah, right. yeah. 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 Blessing over the wine, heal the joyous occasion for having the dinner. Baruch, Ta Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Kore Pri Agatha. Bless you, Mother Earth, for all your beauty and blossoms. And bless you for letting the sun shine and all these wonderful people.
Jewish tradition, um, the ketubah is a contract between both parties of a married couple. So David and Tilly are going to read today vows to each other, which they have written in their own ketubah. I'll show it to you. This is it. You'll hear it in a moment. So from the ketubah, on the 6th day of August, 1989, the bride, Matilda Gertrude Schultzik, daughter of Helena Matilda Adelina Barenson, and Johann August Schultzik, promised David Stuart Kaufman, the groom, son of Esther Reva Zakorski, and Daniel Jakob Kaufman. my husband, according to the tradition of my family, I shall cherish you like and honor you as is customary among the daughters of my heritage, who have cherished and honored their husbands in faithfulness and integrity. David Stewart Kaufman, son of Esther Reva Zaporsky and Daniel Yaakov Kaufman, promised Matilda Kirtrude Schultvik, the bride, daughter of Helena Matilda Evelina Barenson and Johann August Schultvik. You are my wife, according to the tradition of Moses and Israel. I shall cherish and honor you as is customary among the sons of Israel, who have cherished and honored their wives in faithfulness and in integrity. The groom and the bride have also promised each other three things. One, to strive throughout their lives together to achieve an openness, which will enable them to share their thoughts, their feelings, and their experiences. Two, they promise to be sensitive to each other's needs, to attain intellectual, emotional, and spiritual fulfillment. And three, they promise to develop compassion, awareness, and wisdom in their home, in their family, and in their communal endeavors. And this marriage has been authorized by the civil authorities of British Columbia. It is valid, and it is binding. <laughs>
Grace and Joanna, could you both look here? Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were. Look at that person. Look at that there are, there are lots of glasses to be had over there. Uh, in a second. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I doubt. This is really nice. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Let me give you a glass. <laughs> double, a double glass, and then I was off. <laughs> we drank half of that one. Just have to do it. Semi Jewish. <laughs> Partway there, anyway. Together, at this point in time, I'd like to propose a toast to this wonderful day that we are blessed with, obviously. It could have been a better day. And of course, most importantly, to be dried and the groom. A toast to their best health and to a long and happy life together.